all businesses need to track leads and opportunities in their pipeline so that they can make sales. Today I'm going to show you how to do that for free by using Zoho Begin. Sometimes it can be really hard to know where to begin and so let's dive into Zoho Begin. Okay, let's first go over to the pricing page so I can show you how free this really is. On the free plan, you can see that we have a pipeline. We can have 500 contacts and we've got a few other little uh, features here that we can use. Okay, so here we are in Zoho Begin. So this is a very basic CRM system. It's kind of like Pipedrive in that you've got some pipeline stages and you can simply add a deal and manage it through to completion. So straight away in the top right, I've got the little plus button here. So if I click on that one, I can add a contact, company, product, task, event, call, and I've also got pipelines and things like that. So on the pipeline, you can see I've got different stages here. Now I am able to customize some of those pipeline stages and I can create filter rules so I can see which ones are relevant to me when I've got a lot of them in there. So if I click into this test one here, we can see we've got some pipeline stages. We can see that we've got the ability to add notes. We can see activities. We can check emails if you've hooked it up, stages, files, products, and that just allows us to be able to connect each of those elements to the deal so that we can have a 360 degree view of the customer. I can add tags. Maybe they're a high priority or a low priority. Maybe they're high risk or low risk. You can come up with the tag ideas. And then on the description, you can put in a little comment about what it is that we're actually selling. If I go over here to the edit screen, then I can clone or delete. I can change the owner, perhaps add contact name, deals, details, company name, stage, amount, closing date, and then if I want to associate any products. So maybe I've got a basic service, an intermediate service, and an advanced service. So I can create those down here in the products. Let's quickly go into the contacts. So I can create a new one. Let me go over here. So we're going to create, I already created a at a.com. So let's create b at b.com. It's a fake email. Thank you, YouTube. And then we put in the first name and we can put in a title, for example, their job role, they're the decision maker, are they the owner, and then email, company name, phone. Now you can add some custom fields. It is a little bit limited. I do believe it's about 20. So yeah, you can add up to 25 custom fields. So you can see I've used one out of 25 custom fields. So I can go and look at the existing ones that are in the system and I can drag on some of the unused fields. I've removed some that I didn't think relevant. So perhaps I do want to store some other address information, or maybe I want to store a secondary email, or I want to know what their fax number is. <laughs> so the companies is the organization you're dealing with. So if you're in trade services and you are dealing with like a body corporate or a real estate agent, then you can associate them here. So let's go create a company, test, save. Very easy. Also on the company's record, we've got very similar features. For example, I can add notes, I can add activities, emails, I can check out socials, I can see whatever pipelines or deals that I've got, and then I've got the ability to store contacts up against that and then files. So you would add multiple contacts at a company, for example, the owner, the assistant, and maybe one of the service operators or something like that. On the products, I can add, for example, I've got training package here, it could be lawn mowing, it could be window washing, it could be anything you like as a product. But once you add a product, then you can add a price, give it a category, and it doesn't have to be what you actually sell. It doesn't have to be the exact price, but what it does do is it helps you understand roughly what's coming up in the pipeline so that you know how much you've closed and how much money you're going to make in the next period, quarter, month, whatever. If we go over to activities, now we can see I can see what's on the calendar of what's coming up. So I can hit the little plus button and I can create a task, an event, or log a call. That just helps me understand what I've got to do and when. And then on the dashboards, I can see uh, a general high level overview of leads, sales, etc. in the pipeline. Coming over to settings now, we can see we've got some fields, forms, workflows, and we can do a whole bunch of other things in terms of integrations. So if I could check in the email, I can bring in my emails into the system so that I can see that next to the contact or next to the deal. I can integrate some business messaging through WhatsApp. I can connect the phone system. I can connect Zoho Social, and I'll have a link to another video that gives you a little bit more detail about Zoho Social. And I can manage my notifications. Toppings is a fun little name that they've decided to use for integrations. 
Basically, the value behind Zoho is that it is a huge platform, Zoho One. So you can get started with Zoho Begin and then expand later. So if you need to be able to have emails, manage files, do accounting, integrate with certain things, have a bigger, more powerful CRM, uh, perhaps your email campaigns, your desks, forms, etc. There's a heaps of other things that you can expand into as your business grows. I've got another video on the value of Zoho One, which I'll add a link to in the comments. If you're watching and you're finding this useful, please hit that like button, give us a subscribe and let us know in the comments what you think. So it's very easy for a small business to be able to manage the deal. As you can see, I can click and drag these around the pipeline and it's going to update the record as we go. And I can add in things like when I think the deal is going to close, how much I think is uh, in the pipeline coming up. And it really helps me understand the metrics in the business. It allows me to see how many leads are in the pipeline so I know if I've got enough deals to be able to survive or whether I need to hire staff and also allows me to keep track of things so that I don't forget and miss an opportunity that would otherwise have closed. I can easily create a new deal by hitting the plus button. I can change the view to a list if I prefer to see it that way. I've got the ability to create filter rules and I've got the ability to search all deals using this top search section. So if I want to search the deal or the contact or the company, I can type anything in and it will come up. So here's all of our test records just here. If you found that useful, you can sign up for free, but I'm going to put my affiliate link in the comments and watch out for the next video. We're going to talk a little bit more about Zoho One. Thank you.